What's up, YouTube? I'm Jerry for Hampam RC, helping you pick out the cheapest and the coolest RCs that are available online today. We are at the government center of Bacolod City. We have here a mini quadcopter that I bought two years ago. Does it still fly? Watch until the end to see if this is still worth buying. This is cheap, it flies well, it's durable, and small enough to test drive around the house. This is the Ishin E010. So this is the box of the Ishin E010. Take it out of the box. We have the quadcopter. Transmitter. We have spare propellers. This is the USB charger. and the manual. Let's look at the quadcopter. So the design of the Asian E010 is made to protect the propellers. So we are free to crash it around the house without damaging them. If you do, there's the option to buy any spare parts, including batteries. So as they say, the smaller the drone, usually the less the battery life it has. The battery included is a 3.7 volts, 150 milliamps per hour that gives around 4 to 5 minutes of flight time. However, even if it may seem low, just keep in mind, you can always choose to get a ton more spare batteries as they are really cheap. That chassis is made of plastic. I could say it is made of strong materials though. Even so, and as durable as it is, it is still breakable and you will not want to cry over it if it happens. Why? Because it's not expensive to replace it with a new one. You can find the drone both on Amazon or even cheaper on sites like Banggood. I got mine from banggood.com for 581 pesos. The controller for this tiny drone is small. This might be a downside for people with big hands though. However, it's quite perfect for children and I actually like how it fits on my hand especially since it's easier to carry around as a package. These are the trimming buttons. If the drone tends to fly in a certain direction, you can correct them by using the trim buttons. This is the button for taking flips. These are the speed rates button. So if you want to fly slower at first, and then sport mode after when you get used to it. So let's take this to the sky.
There are many drones that are great for beginners, but if your main target is to learn how to fly, then don't hesitate and get this tiny quadcopter. The price is what makes this drone such a big recommendation. As a beginner flyer, you wouldn't mind crashing or destroying this quadcopter since it is affordable. Overall, the drone is still relevant today. The Asian E-010 doesn't have a lot of features like some more expensive drones would have. However, I still consider it to be the perfect drone for anyone to start learning how to fly quadcopters. Mainly because it's cheap. It flies well, it's durable, and small enough to fly around the house. Thank you for watching this video. If you have learned something today, please do hit the like button. If you have any questions regarding our featured RC toy, or if you want other RC toys to be featured on this channel, please make a comment below. Make sure to subscribe for more videos just like this. See you on the next videos.